What's up, Binge Bays? It's your girl, Blake, and I... What? Okay, this ain't this ain't finna work. I tried to beat my face a little bit for you guys. Like I said, like I said, I was gonna do in the last video, but um, I need my lash tech. I really, I can't do this. I'm just gonna embrace my natural self. This is not gonna work. It took me about 20 minutes to do this, and it ain't still ain't do right. So I'm just gonna rip these off. Maybe I'll put some glasses on. I'll be right back. Okay, this is better. Let's do that intro again. What's up, Biz Bays? It's your girl, Blake, and I'm back with another video. And I know why you're here. I know exactly why you're here. You're here for my review of B-Love's cameo shout-out for Binge Family Vlogs. Round of applause. So, um, I'm also going to be eating. You guys, I just finished cleaning the house. And this is my first meal. I'm eating a keto Five Guys burger. And yeah, I forget what I got all on it. I think I got, I got tomatoes, of course, cooked onions, mushrooms, green peppers. Um, what else? Well, as I see things, I'll let y'all know what's on it. I put, I think light mayo, um, pickles. That's all I can think of right now. But see, it doesn't have a bun. It's the bun is the lettuce, and then I have the Cajun. Those are called the Cajun fries. Yes, the Five Guys Cajun fries, bomb. Okay, so yeah, I haven't had Five Guys in like a year, so I've been just fiending for some Five Guys. So let me do a thumbnail real quick before I bite into this and we watch this cameo. Okay, and I'm gonna use. Well, I'll let you guys know. When I watch the cameo, the cameo, hey, the cameo. Have y'all, did y'all do y'all's homework and um, subscribe to the Binge Kids channel? Okay, the link is in the description. Okay, here's their followings and go ahead and subscribe to them on YouTube. They're cute, funny, um, they do challenges, cooking, gardening. They do all of that and they're hilarious so please go ahead and um subscribe to them they also do cosplay that means like putting on costumes and doing like skits and um they do laser tag look they do everything they do whatever comes to their mind so if you want to be entertained subscribe to the bench kids all right let's get into this review aren't you excited if you're an og subscriber you'll be excited for me and i Thank you guys for subscribing. Let me know if you guys want me to start doing more reaction videos. Um, that's what I meant to say. It's a reaction video, not a review. It's a reaction video to B-Love's cameo shout out for Binge Family Vlogs. I'm drinking out of my... I've had this thing forever and I'm like, why haven't I been using it on my mukbangs like Miss B-Love does? Hello. So, if you guys are interested, um, I can get a, get some made and have them over to you. I just want to gauge the interest of the audience. But it's super big, and it's cute, and it's just, I love it. Anyways, let's go ahead and watch the shout out. Hey, Blake. What's up, girl? girl. At any rate, I went over to your channel. Girl, let me just tell you this. Your content is good. You've been doing some studying. Or somebody, I'm like, you doing really, really well. I love your lighting. I love the lighting. I love everything about your videos. Your editing is on point. Girl, personality, your kids are beautiful. Editing on point. Let me tell you guys. I just started editing my videos in September of 2019. That's when my, because um, I had an editor when I first started the channel my cousin ihana shout out to her she has a youtube page as well subscribe to her she's a photographer so her content is on college life and being a photographer and she's the bomb she was my editor before and then when we moved to this house i um 
I was like, you know, I have to find out how to edit. And I needed to know that skill just so I could just be self-sufficient. So I um, paid her to come over and sit with me for two hours and show me the basics of editing. And then I figured everything else on my own. On my own. And I'm still learning. So that's nice that she she uh, noticed that my um, my editing was good. Beautiful. He's a Gerald. Uh, Ava and Jag. I think I got it. It's so funny that she calls Jarrell Gerald because literally not even two days ago Jarrell just told me that his fourth grade teacher always called him Gerald and that was my first his first time telling me this and so it's funny that B-Love read his name as Gerald as well they never, nobody says his name right. That right, right? And then hubby, of course. Shout out to all y'all. I watched your etiquette video with the kids. And I'm like, you just, Blake, you just an all around type of women. A woman, I said women. Woman, girl, you a business woman. You a mommy. You, I mean, just a YouTuber, just an all around type of girl. And I'm just like, wow, you're doing very, very good. I see that you got a cosmetic line or you know what I'm saying, girl? You I don't have a cosmetic line, but I do have Binge Online Boutique. It's at www.readysetbinge.com, and it's clothing. Um, I have Binge Brand Street Apparel, which is like sweats and stuff, and then I have regular apparel for men, women, and children, readysetbinge.com. I do not have a cosmetic line, but look, who knows? Who knows what happens in the future? But doing your thing, and I think that this soup thing is going to really, really... Um, put your business on another level because you're when you're doing um, YouTube, it's a great marketing um, st strategy for you know YouTube. You know when you're in business because you can grab your audience and they know who you are as a woman. You know what I'm saying? And then they know your family, so they know all the personal things about you and different things like that. They ain't gonna know everything, but they gonna think they know. They gonna it's gonna be it's gonna build a connection and a bond with your supporters, which in turn they will support you on anything that you do you know business adventure that you um, choose to take and girl you have a beautiful home your MTV careers yes girl you got some taste I love it it was very very nice very very nice and the kids I mean they they got it going on they got it going on you up there and I'm like that etiquette thing was so funny yo, yo I don't know where you getting your editing because that editing is a lot so I know you put a lot of work into your videos, and I like to congratulate you on that. Now, we gon' we gon' we gon' let me see. I didn't really have a lot to say about your videos, cause girl, you got it. The thing about this is that right now YouTube is oversaturated. Okay, let's just keep it real. It's oversaturated. It's very competitive. It's very very uh, you know, everybody's doing it, cause everybody know you can make tons and tons and tons of money on this in this uh, on this platform you I even got celebrities out. trying to get a piece of the pie you know what i'm saying so now it's making it more difficult for channels to really get recognized out here you have to really really take this seriously and stand out better than the rest so with that being said you have to upload a lot okay and what seriously. i mean less the minimum is four times a week and then make sure make sure your videos are 16 minutes or longer the longer your videos the more money you make the more your watch time the more views it's just a domino effect watch time is everything in youtube and let me just say this because i know i saw some of your videos that was less than 10 minutes anything that's less than 10 minutes you do not get you're not able to put ads in so i just want you to be aware of that because even though you're putting that footage up it's funny she said that because i do do a lot of research and I have found a woman who was giving people YouTube tips, tips on how to grow on YouTube. And this woman's tips, which I don't remember her, um, I don't remember her YouTube page. But this woman's tip tells me to upload like five minute videos because then you'll get more. I was just like, and that's why I started doing five minute videos. Because as you can see, in the beginning when I first started YouTube, I would do longer videos. And then, you know, I didn't gain any traction. So I'm still looking and learning and trying to find different ways. And uh, I 
stumbled upon this woman's um this woman's uh youtube page and she's like yeah do five minute video that's why the bench kids videos are five minutes so now that i know like this is good advice this is very helpful you know like specific advice do 16 minutes got you now i know um if youtube sees um uh when they monetize you get to monetize you you can go back to all your videos and put ads in but if you did not do 10 minutes you will not be able to put ads in the middle of those videos so just let you know that's a lot of money that you're losing because we put so much work into it with the uploading the thumbnails and, and everything I don't think understand and the editing work. and and people gonna look at you like you're crazy if you want to start a youtube channel it's a lot of work and then people going to be looking at you sideways like you don't have a million followers in one day. You ain't going to be successful. What are you doing? Because it's very time consuming, especially if you're editing your own videos. Um, you're doing your own thumbnails. Like I'm doing all of that and I'm still learning. Like I, you'll see she's going to say something about thumbnails as well. And for this video, I'm going to use the app that she suggests. So we'll see the difference. All, with all that being said, you want to get paid because you put no work into it. So I just want you to be aware of that. And I always say um, 16 minutes because, hey, it's a pretty nice penny. Because <laughs> anything under that, you just be like, man, okay, I could have put a little bit more ad in it. But you couldn't put no more ad in it because you really was a very, very short video. My videos is no lo shorter than 30 minutes every time. And sometimes I do an hour and a half minute, an hour and a half of a video and you know what sometimes I do most time is about an hour when I have somebody on with me because I mean when you have somebody with you you can talk a lot you can talk more the conversations are more deeper more better you know it's laughs it's fun and whatever it's but when you're alone you of course it's not there. that it's not that easy that's why I do my 30 minutes and I'm up out of there but uh, you do have good conversations. Your personality is amazing. You very, very natural with the camera. Very, very outgoing. You have a lot. I love the uh, video you did when you was in your bedroom and you was folding the clothes. But you were talking about um, being competitive and that's not a good thing, you know, or competition. Right, the competition um, uh, blog video that you did. It was very nicely said. Very well put together. And I, I understood everything that you were saying in that moment. And it lets me know that you are, a, you know, you support others. You know, and you're not out here to, like, I'm going to do better than you. I'm not, right. You want to see everybody win. Out. And that's a good thing. I like that about you. Um, well, you have very, you very good you. views for you to be the channel that you are. So just know that you have a good, a good, good channel. Um, and now your thumbnails as you go, girl, is going to get better and better. And I don't know what well, program I'm you use, but if you have a program you don't know about it called iPicky, I-P-I-C-C-Y, and, um, Pick Monkey, you probably know about those programs. Your, 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 your editing is on point. Um, your intro is good. I love your intro. It's good. Um, and do what was trending. Doing that. Um, do what's trending. Do 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 what's trending. Because what I, why I say that is because in, anytime you keep up with the trends, your channel does better. Let me just say this. Hi, mom and dad. I know you're watching. Dad, this is not a burger. This is vegan. Anyways, you hear how she said. Do what's trending so i try to sprinkle what's trending in my you know on my channel so that i do get you know pop up in searches or pop up on people's recommendations and i was trying to explain that to you guys about how youtube works and i was like don't do what everyone else is doing why are you getting on the camera why are you doing this be a lady you have to do what's trending and the only things i'm i'm not going to do every single thing that's trending because it's not me if it doesn't fit with me and my brand then i'm not gonna do it but if it's something like i've pranked my mother all my life before youtube like i've literally and she still falls for every single thing i prank her with so that is my personality i am a prankster um and my family my family are pranksters i'll give you guys a story time i just thought of something i just thought it was a great video for what my brothers and sisters and cousins did to me. And my parents. I might need some therapy. Anyways, let's resume the video.
You can do your own thing. It's nothing wrong with that. But just keep up with the trends. And also, try to look up. This is the things I want you to look up because you're not too you're not too far off from being that good, good substance of a channel. What you need to look up is SEO, which is the search engine operator. It just helps you better ta- well, rank your videos. You, We have a lot to do with our own ranking of our own channel. Meaning that you, the more keywords you put in your title, your tags, and your description, the more people will find you. The less you put in there, they're not going to find you. This is where I struggle. I have, see, the, look, look at how big this eye is. That's lash glue sticking to my lid, opening my eye way further than it normally sits. Look at that. I look crazy. Get the eye to close. Okay, there we go. All right, that's normal. <laughs> where were we all right so my nephew philip i think he would be perfect for seo if he knew like he's a brainiac like i try to work smarter not harder and i've been trying to like mess around with the seo thing I, i'm trying guys it's it's not it's not clicking so i would love hint hint for my nephew little philip to uh look into seo stuff and become a genius on that and then we can just blow it out the water continue on so let me just say give you an example there's a lot of things that's trending right now quarantine quarantine you had that in your title and just leading people are going to find that because it's it's trending king crab legs you may not even eat i don't know yeah i saw you eat some shrimp and some noodles girl i was watching all your videos, oh, yeah, I was watching your videos. anyways <laughs> but like if you eat seafood that seafood balls uh uh videos go big and they pay a lot of money that's why you see a lot of people doing them because you get paid bukus of money. Seafood balls are my highest paid videos on my channel. And anybody else will tell you that in the mukbang community. And you may not even want to do a mukbang. Maybe you want to do one or two mukbangs in your, on your uh, page. And if you do, they're trending and people are going to watch them. They, anything that says seafood ball or king crab legs or a uh, challenge, two times spicy noodle challenge, anything that has... Uh, even my sauce, B Love Smack Delicious sauce, that's trending. That's everything that, 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 anything that's that trending, trending, keywords you need to put in your tags, your title, and your description because it's going to help your channel be um, found easier. Also, look up a program called TubeBuddy. A lot of YouTubers use this. Um, it's nine ninety nine a month. It picks your Pitch tags, your suggest your tags for the video you are about to upload. Uh-huh. You can click them. And what I love about it is it allows you to go to other other bigger content creators um channels and you can see the tags they use in their video which you can use some of their tags or whatever mix it up for several of the bigger youtubers uh videos and use a several you know tags and here, tags and, here, tags and, here. and anyway and create your tag list and it will make your videos be easier to be found you understand so i think that'll be a good thing i used to like and I don't do it no more, but when I first started, I used to look at bigger, I used to study bigger content creators' um, channels if I'm doing the same content they're doing. And, you know, look at their titles and try to say what keywords they're using. And I'll try to put a spin on it and use the same words, keywords, but I will put my own little thing. Because the bigger, the more keywords you can have, the better. And you need to do the most powerful keyword there is, you know what I mean, the ones that going to get searched the most, you know what I'm saying, in your title. Uh, I think that's all I have to really tell you. But all in all, you do an amazing job. And I think this will be a very good, good, um, good for your business to grow and everything. So, I, girl, wh- what it looks like to me, you do everything in excellence. You ain't playing no games. You do, you're doing really, really good. You know what you're doing. You really do. And I wish you nothing but the best. And I am going to shout your channel out. And you will know when I shout your channel out because people are going to come over there. Be love, sit me over here. Be love. But it's going to be a few weeks because I have like a hundred and something people to get through. And I only do two people a video because I want you guys to get your shine. I put your links in my, I'm going to put your link in my description box as well as pin a comment letting them know not to forget to check your channel out but all in all keep doing you keep shining and keep being the queen that you are peace out peace love and hair grease love her that's exactly why i wanted her to do a cameo because for my channel because like she just seems or she just is a real person like and she isn't into the 
you know, the competition thing. She's into, you know, helping smaller channels out. And that's why she's going to continue to prosper when you give and you, you, um, you share that knowledge that you have. Because if you're just stingy with the knowledge, how do you think you're going to continue to prosper once God sees that the blessings that he done gave you, you done took advantage of? So I really appreciate that. And I can't wait till I get on a platform as large as hers. And, um, you know, when Bench Family is, 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 has a platform that's as large as hers and that I can, you know, reach back and help out small channels because... Look, a lot of people start YouTube and I'm not going to say a lot of people, but you see people that start YouTube and they blow up fast. And you're like, you did five videos. What? And I've literally been on YouTube for over a year and I've transitioned. I've learned how to edit. I've gotten a green screen for the kids channel. I've like gotten, I've gotten. It stopped recording, sorry. But I've definitely invested in my channel. And I was just thinking, like, what is going to come of this? Like, I'm trying with the SEO thing. It's a little tricky. Like, you have to literally know exactly what you're doing. There is no, you know, just happen upon. Unless you go viral on social media outside of YouTube and then start YouTube. I appreciate the shout out. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the tips, most importantly, because that's what I need. And, you know, as an entrepreneur and as a person, you're always going to grow. You, are, you always should retain information, um, seek information so that you can be more prosperous and um, more knowledgeable in your area of work. And that so that you can also teach others. So with that being said, you guys, I thank you guys for watching. Look. My video was more than 10 minutes. Okay. She listening. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys in another video.